Okay, so uh, you may notice I am in bed doing this vlog. And that's because I'm a hot mess. I had one hell of a day and I just, I couldn't bear to do this anywhere else other than my bed, in my PJs, with my dog, and all sorts of ready to go to sleep because that's, that is where I'm at right now. That is where I'm at. I'm in sleep mode, but I needed to do this vlog. I needed to do it. Even though it's 11, 11 p.m., I'm sure it's still going to be Thursday somewhere when I post this, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So the reason why I'm a hot mess is because I had to wake up at 7 a.m. for a job interview. Then I had to rush home and file an application for an apartment that I wanted, but the application, it was just a mess. It was just a total, total mess. So I still don't have that apartment. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that tomorrow I'll have everything I need to make this happen. Otherwise, I'm going to be one unhappy beaver. Plus, partying with beavers is hard as well, so <laughs> I didn't even have time to recuperate from partying with beeves. But speaking of beave partying, we should get into that, shall we? I would just like to also totally give a shout out to Flawless, who took care of us, who was just so amazing. That whole team that works on Flawless is just probably the most intelligent, gorgeous group of women you have ever met. And as stated by all the beavers before me, Jess is probably the cutest, most adorable person you will ever meet in your life. But it's not that she's cute. She's like cute and gorgeous. It's you just you're in awe of her. It's like being in the same room as her. You're really trying hard not to keep your mouth open because you're just like, oh my God, she's stunning. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's cute. She's got a wicked personality. She is, I mean, she is the it girl. She is our Justin Timberlake. She is our Obama. She is it. It doesn't get more amazing than Jess. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Jess is just truly fantastic. And when you're just that fantastic, you know whoever you date is going to be equally as fantastic. So Mary B, you are just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, seriously, I love these girls. I love them. And they open their apartment to us. And what a gorgeous apartment, as AJ mentioned. Again, I want to be them when I grow up. And they made us breakfast and just amazing. Truly, there isn't a better word than amazing. So I was so happy that I finally got to meet Jess because she was the last beaver that I hadn't met. And I really also want to meet Lou. Lou is on my hit list of beavers to meet because she will forever be a beaver. So I have to meet Lou. But Jess is just phenomenal. And I'm so thankful and lucky that I have the ability to call her my friend because she's just, she's one of those people that your life is richer knowing. And as Lori mentioned, Lori and I are like fast real life buddies. I've seen Lori, this is the third time. I'm probably seeing her again uh, sometime this summer. So seriously, me and Lori should just, I don't know, be best friends forever, share a best friend charm and, you know, be each other's roommates because we literally see each other that often now. I don't think I've ever met anyone in my life that has more energy than that girl. I mean, I don't even know where it comes from. It's like the sun. It's constant and it's just forever recharging. I I really want to find what keeps her going because I'm in awe of it. Like, seriously, it was the most amazing thing to watch. The rest of the beavers were like, where does this come from? It's just her energy is so fantastic to be around because she's such a happy person. What you see in those videos is all so genuine. She's such a happy person. She likes to make other people happy. She likes to make people laugh. I mean, I am not a morning person at all. And um, she is, of course, the epitome of morning person. So when I woke up every morning in San Diego and I was like all grouchy and grumpy and she was all like, yay, it's morning. It, it literally, while I want it to kill her, um, it's so hard to because she's just so freaking adorable that she almost 
almost made me a morning person, but not quite. Sorry, Lori, not not quite there. I'm still, I mean, look at me. I'm in bed and it's 11.19. Um, I'm not, when I'm tired, I'm just grouchy. I'm a grouchy, tired person. I mean, I just have so many fond memories of the trip, so... I'm, I'm just really thankful. Lori was right. It's just as the mom of Beeve, it was just so amazing to have everyone together and just to uh, have everyone connect in real life so well. All of us got along so, so well. Each one of our personalities complemented each other's personalities and it was just one of those things that was like a meant to be sort of thing. We were all meant to be together in a way. It was just, it was very heartwarming. And then after that, we've got AJ. And AJ is so, she's just such an amazing, amazing person. I actually got the chance to meet her when she came and stayed with me last year for New York Pride, but I feel like in San Diego, we really got the chance to bond. We had a little bit more downtime for some reason, I feel like, in San Diego, and we got a chance to really talk. I just think she's such an amazing individual that has so much to share, so much knowledge, and just has so much to offer. She's almost like the wise sage, if you will, like quiet, kind of soft-spoken, but when she parties, the girl partays, which I think is such a fantastic balance. Like, to be able to be calm, cool, and collected, and then all of a sudden just totally let loose and totally have a completely different side of your personality. I love that. I think it shows depth. I think it shows character. And I was, you know, I really got along with AJ. And then AJ's girlfriend, Melody, was there, and she is so freaking fantastic. I mean, she comes out with these one-liners that will blow you away. She's, it's just her delivery on half the stuff that she says is brilliant. And she is just so fucking cool, that girl is. Melody, I freaking, I love you. You're awesome. So it was fantastic to have her there. A total honorary beaver through and through. Between her and Mary B, we're like recruiting them left and right. But truly, she is so ridiculously awesome. Just, her personality is just so cool. It's like I almost feel like I gain cool points just by having her around me or just saying I know someone who is that awesome. And uh, her and her roller derby girls gave us the opportunity to walk in Pride. And that was the first time I marched in a Pride. So it was a truly great experience and one I'll never forget, you know, to walk in Pride with the beavers and those fantastic roller derby girls who are just so kick ass. It was just, it was amazing. So thank you for that. And then lastly, we've got Cade and Cade's my boy. Cade is, he's like my best friend. So I don't really know what to say on how great it was to uh, see Cade, but I definitely love the fact and appreciate the fact that I got to spend some time with him because he's my BFF. When shit is going wrong in my life, he's on speed dial for sure. So, you know, just seeing him and being able to like hug him and be with my Kate was so amazing. He really, he's just, you know, there's people that you meet in life and you know you'll forever be friends with them and you know that they will forever have a huge impact on you and how you live life and how you think and how you react to situations. And he is one of those people. He is wise beyond his years. He's just, he's a good soul. He's an old soul. And I get along with him really, really well. And I love him. And he knows that. He knows I love him. But overall, I have to say it was probably one of the most amazing experiences because we just all got along so well and it was just so great to be able to finally have us all together. For all of us to be able to hang out and meet and bond, that's priceless. And I'm with Lori. I think I'm a changed beaver. I think I'm a changed beaver for the better to have all of them in my life and to be able to call them all my friends. So for that alone, I thank each and every one of you for participating in the Beaver Bunch and for making San Diego happen. Jess, Mary B, Flawless, thank you so much for all you did for us that weekend. And to the rest of the Beavers, thank you so much for being just so fantastic and being you. So I don't know if enough people thank you for simply being you, but here I am thanking you for just being great and being a part of this. So I will hopefully see everyone again soon, and hopefully we'll be able to do this at least once a year, if not more. 
All right. I love you guys, and I miss you so much. Baby beavers, you have no idea how awesome these folks are. I will see you next week.